Hi everyone, it's Laura Milligan and I am here for my weekly Facebook Live. It is Monday, the 28th of August, 2023. And thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I do go live pretty much every Monday um, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so thank you for joining me. Um, welcome, I appreciate all of you so much and I appreciate those that watch on replay. If you can't watch live, that's all great too. I really, really appreciate your support. So thank you for being here. Hope you all had a good weekend. We had a really nice weekend here. Um, spent some time with family. It was my husband's birthday. So we celebrated that and that was a, that was, um, that was a good day. And um, got to spend some time in my garden, um, it, which was also fun. You know, I love that. So if you're there, say hello. And I'm hoping that this week I can get through this without any technical glitches. Um, I never know about my internet anymore, but I'm crossing my fingers. So, okay, there's Susie, Becky, Colleen. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Hope you all had a good weekend or doing well today. So I have... Um, a sneak peek that I'm going to do today. It's a card featuring one of the new bundles in our mini catalog. I am not allowed to show you the inside of the mini catalog yet. That's a that's a Stampin' Up! rule. Um, hold on, something funny is going on here. Okay, um, that is a Stampin' Up! rule. Uh, but I can show you the front of the catalog, which, you know what, let me grab it. Let me pull this up here. I didn't plan to do this. So here is the front of the catalog. If you are one of my current customers, you should have already received this, whether local or long distance. If you did not get one yet, or if you don't have a demonstrator and would like a copy, let me know. I'm happy to um, get one in your hands. It's a great catalog. There's a lot to love in the catalog. And I think those that have seen it um, already are actually pretty excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, the other thing before I do that, I wanted to mention, my designer series paper share. I do these every time we get a new catalog because our designer paper is always so beautiful. And of course, it's always more beautiful when you see it actually in person. And so this, my paper share is a way to get your hands on every pattern, every, every piece of designer paper in the new catalog. I do all the regular designer papers and all the specialty papers and so, if you are interested in that, I am taking um, reservations for that now. Um, you can email me. I will put a link so that you can email me um, to let me know that you are interested. And then I will be um, sending out PayPal invoices um, in a few days for that so you can, you can pay that way. But great papers. And I think the paper that I'm using today um, from the All About Autumn Suite is gorgeous and I think you're going to really love that. So let me switch my camera view down. There's Barb. Hi Judy. Hi Barb. Um, let's see who else is on here. Yeah okay so I think I've said hi to everybody. Um, so I did I wanted to show you this. This card look how cute this is. This uses the stamp set called or it's the bundle called Hey Chuck and this is this chicken on a skateboard says you've got something to crow about. Look how cute this is. Have an extra special birthday, Rich. Love, Nancy. So this was not a card for me. This was a card that Nancy sent to her brother, Rich, my husband. And I just thought it was really cute. She is so creative. I love this like trifold. Really, really fun. So thank you, Nancy, for that. I felt like I know this card wasn't for me, but I enjoyed seeing it too. So thank you. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Jean. Thanks for joining in, everybody. Okay, so I wanted to point this out. This is my current host code. This is for the month of August. And if you place a $50 or more online order and use this host code, then you will get a surprise from me next month in the mail. Um, it's going to be a surprise embellishment from the new catalog. I'm not sure yet what it is. I want to wait and see what's available when the catalog goes live, but it'll be something really cool, a, a really fun surprise embellishment. And then of course you always get a thank you card as well. If your order is over $150, um, then don't use this host code. You will enjoy your own host rewards um, and still get the gems and the card in the mail. So 
bear with me here because I feel like I'm going to sneeze. This is one of those days. Oh my gosh, I hope I can get through this without sneezing. Anyway, all right, so let me just show you. Like I said, I cannot show you the inside of the catalog yet. That is a Stampin' Up! rule. And, but I can show you products and projects. So let me show you, I'm gonna start, this is the All About Autumn Suite. It's a suite collection. And it is a big collection. There's, there's so much in, in it. Um, this is the bundle. I'm gonna be using this today. Stamp set has these gorgeous leaves. And I don't know about you, I am so ready for fall. I love the leaves and the cooler temperatures, sweater weather, right, as they call it. And then these are the coordinating dies. There is an embossing folder called Distressed Tile. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of, um, well, it looks distressed. It's distressed. That's why it's called Distressed Tile, right? Really, really pretty. Love that. There are some gems, and they are just called ad adhesive back speckled dots. So they are kind of speckled. I don't know if you can see. If I hold them up real close, maybe you can see the speckles. Um, hey, Cindy. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Candy. Hi, everybody. Thank you for, so much for watching. And then I think one of the best parts about this suite is the paper. And like I said, if you haven't signed up for, me, for my designer series paper share yet, you need to because you will get a sampling of all these papers. All the papers in the whole catalog, actually. So this is a specialty paper. It is called All About Autumn. It is six by six and it has the metallic on one side and it's copper, copper foil. Look how pretty these are. This one sort of looks like the embossing folder. That one, so pretty. Doesn't this just look like fall? It's, it's like, re, it's rich. Rich, regal, beautiful colors. Pretty peacock, I love that. Look how pretty that one is. So the colors in this are Copper Clay, Mossy Meadow, Pretty Peacock, Moody Mauve, Very Vanilla, and the Copper Foil. So this is the one side. And then let me gather these up and show you the other side. These are like those, um, I think they call this photorealistic. So it looks like they actually took pictures of some different scenes in autumn. Look how gorgeous. Love that. That looks like a drone shot. My husband would like that. He has a drone. He would like to see that. This is like a close-up of a sweater or an afghan. Upholstered chair, which is kind of fun. Leaves. This I'm using this on the card I'm going to make today. This reminds me of taking a walk in the fall and walking through all the leaves that are on the sidewalk. Love that. Hear the, hear the crunching and everything. This is close-ups of some spines of books, which are really fun. Love the colors. This is a gorgeous paper. And this paper is six by six. So this is the actual size. Love this. All the books on the shelf. And that's really pretty. Love the beautiful pumpkins. And then this is like a, oh, barn wood or... Not really shiplap, I guess I would call it barn wood, distressed, some kind of distressed wood. And I am, so Sherry and I will be releasing our um, September class to go on September 1st, and we are featuring this bundle, this suite of, of products in our class. So I kind of wanted to give you a little sneak peek today. The card I'm making is not one that you will make in the class, but it's another idea so that if you do decide to take this class, you'll have another idea for it. So let me get my parts and pieces out. So I am using a very vanilla card base, eight and a half by five and a half, just the traditional standard base. I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this on the score line. I like to use our thick um, basic white, or in this case, the very vanilla basic. It is still called very vanilla, but um, I like to use the thicker weight for my card bases. And so here I'm gonna start with just this, this panel um, of DSP. This is the one, it just makes me think of walking down the street or the sidewalk on a fall day. 
No, and so Cindy's asking, this is six by six paper. Um, yeah, and I hate to cover this beautiful side up, but, and I have not used this glue. I didn't do any stamping this weekend, which is not like me, but I was just doing other things. I'm gonna stick my trusty little pin in here, see if I can get this, there we go. Okay. And I think I have another idea for, for this suite, and so I think what I might do, I used to come back on Thursdays sometimes and do a Facebook Live Take Two to show you another idea with whatever suite I was um, showcasing on my Monday Facebook Live. So I'm gonna tune in Thursday at one o'clock. It'll be Facebook Live Take Two with another idea for this suite. <clears throat> okay. So with these dies, um, there's some really neat things. So there are a couple little, two different label shapes, and then of course all the leaves and the veins of the leaves. And then this, these create like detail, little dots, just to add some interest and texture. I'm not using those today, today, but I wanted to point them out to you. But what I am using is, this is crumb cake, and I have cut this, die cut this from the nested essential dies. Those are kind of a basic go-to. Those were new in the annual catalog. Um, this year and I find that I'm going to those all the time and then this shape which is from these dies so I've already gone ahead and die cut those and I'm going to take my moody mauve and I just pulled colors from that designer paper and I'm going to just really lightly pick up some color with my, this is one of the small blending brushes and uh, you could see, you know, I'm just barely tapping it on there. And what I like to do is start on my scrap paper um, just to get most of the ink off because I don't, I want it to be more like subtle. And so I'm just gonna gently add some color to the edge of both of these panels. I need to pick up a little bit more for that. Just real light, just to soften it. You could use a sponge dauber if you have that. Just like that. This is one of those tools. It's fun to have, and I think when you're using it, it makes you feel like an artist, which we are. We're paper artists, right? Okay, so there we have that. And then, um, let's see, I'm going to use... There's some good words in this. I'm gonna use the one, Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. That's right here. But I love with a grateful heart, I'm thankful. So many, so many good words in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my block. And you know I kind of do it at a diagonal, corner to corner. And <clears throat> I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, and so there we have that. I have die cut some leaves with Moody Mauve cardstock. And then these little, these are the veins for some of the leaves, but I'm gonna use it more like a sprig on my card today. And then, um, and I can go ahead and put my ink off to the side, I am done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and put this together. So I'm gonna start with my crumb cake. And do you see how, I don't know, I just feel like the, putting a little bit of that moody mauve around that panel, it just kind of pulls the color, it softens it, but it pulls the colors from the designer paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this flat. Put that there, like that. And then I'll go ahead and take these sprigs and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of them and just position those like that. Probably need to put a little, you know, I have glue on my fingers, so I'm just gonna rub it on the end of that and see if that's enough to make that stick, yep. Okay, we got that, and then I'm gonna do another one going this way. This part's gonna be covered up with the leaves, but I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit of glue on here are you all ready for fall? Okay. 
No, so Cindy's asking about the paper shear. You get one of each piece, so you'll get to you get one of every every piece, I should say. So, for example, um, like this one, you would get one piece like this, and it you know, and it's two sided. But you don't get one of each pattern. You get one of each piece. But it's a good way to see, you know, what the what the different patterns and pieces are. So, okay, then I'm going to take my leaves and I'm going to go ahead and put those down. Um, I'm going to overlap them a little bit. I'm going to put one there like that. Debbie's ready for fall all summer. I'm with you. Well, I love summer, and I know, Debbie, you're a gardener, too. I love the gardening in the summertime. Um, I love the sunshine every day and the warmth, but I um, am anxious for fall. So this is going to be a little bit offset. I probably should have moved this over. Let me see if I can do that. I'm going to try to pick this whole thing up. Yep, I'm just going to move it over like that. There we go. Otherwise, it will be a little bit wonky. Okay, so there we have that, like that. And then I'm going to just take this piece, and I'll pop that up with some dimensionals, and it'll be centered on, on my nested essentials panel. So let me get my dimensionals here. So I'm going to put that here. I'm just going to center this as best I can. Okay, so we have that. And then I want to show you, oh, I didn't, and I didn't show you this. This ribbon comes with this suite. It is copper and natural ribbon combo pack. So you get both of these bolts. One is this really pretty um, natural ribbon, which I love. I'm going to be doing something fun with this if you come back on Thursday for my Facebook Live Take 2. And then this copper ribbon, which is also so, so, so pretty. And it's curling up on me here. So that's the copper ribbon. So you get both of those together in a pack. And so what I did with this, I just wanted to do um, like a little bow. I didn't want to put this. It, it just didn't seem to work with what I had in mind for this card. So what I did was I took my paper snips and <clears throat> I trimmed, there's like a, I don't know if you'd call it a seam binding, but there's stitching along both edges of this. And I just went up, um, up the side here like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just cut that whole little piece off. And I've already done one ahead of time just to save some time, but it looks like this. And um, it's a little bit fringy, fraying, I guess you could say, but I like that. I think it goes well with the look of this fall, you know, with the fall leaves and, and everything. So there is that. So I just tied it in a bow. That is one option. And then the other thing I did was, let me see if I can get these. So I had, I pulled these threads off a length of that ribbon they all kind of get messed up here on my desk but so I have these little th these little thin threads that I just pulled from the ribbon and they came apart it, it frayed really easily and you could also tie this in a bow just for an alternative if you don't want to use the ribbon as it is but like I said on Thursday I'm going to use the a bigger the bigger thicker piece of the ribbon whoops I got these ends let me try this again Bear with me here. There we go. Okay. So this is, an <laughs> so you can see what I'm trying to do. It's not cooperating today. I have my all thumbs or something, but anyway, so I'm just gonna put this one on here and I'm gonna just attach this. I'll pull it so it's a little bit smaller and trim the ends a bit. And I'll just attach this right here with um, a glue dot. 
So let me get my glue dot. And I think what I'm gonna do is just trim a bit of this off like that. Yes, you're right, Cindy, this copper ribbon is really shiny, metallic looking. Really sparkly and, and it has a, it's satiny, but it's, um, I think it's gonna be really easy to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bow. Hi, Charlie. Charlie just came to say hello. All right, so I'm gonna take my bow and just attach it there like that. So there we have that. And then of course I wanna add some embellishments. And look how fun these colors are. And they of course are just pulled from the designer series paper. And so I'm gonna just add, you could do any of these. I'm gonna do the mauve since that's the color um, that I used for my leaves and my and my words. I'll just put one there. I think I'll put a small one, just maybe right there like that. So there's the front of my card. Does it make you feel like fall? Does it make you excited for fall? It does me. I'm, I'm really looking forward to fall. Okay, and then on the inside, I'm just gonna take um, a strip of the designer paper and um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. You could actually do this exact same card and just put the metallic, the Moody Mauve metallic panel up, side the side of it facing up, I mean. Okay, and then we have this, and I'm just gonna tuck a leaf there. I had two leaves, where did the other one go? Oh well, it's Monday morning, what can we say? So I'm just, I'm. oh here it is. Okay, I knew there were two there. I haven't totally lost my mind. And then I'm just gonna sort of cross these, just overlap them, so I'm gonna start with this one. I'm excited for all the fall stamping and of course the hol all the holidays coming up. I, that's my favorite time of year. Yeah, you're right, Cindy. This is easy and fast, and that always works for me. I love easy and fast, but still beautiful, right? So there we have that. And then I wanted to show you, um, look at all these little pieces, because I think this helps you see like all that you can do, the variety that you can use these dyes for. But look at all these different colors. So there's one in Pretty Peacock, and then I did die cut one of the, I call them the veins of the leaves to put over it, but look at all these different colors. Love that one. That one. You can see some of the different shapes and sizes of the leaves as well. Aren't they fun? There's wild wheat. But this, this looks like, you're, this really looks like you're walking down the sidewalk on a fall day, doesn't it? with all the different mixtures. It's been a windy day and there's all these different little mixes of leaves and colors and um, look how beautiful, isn't that pretty? I just wanted to show you that, but let me take these out of the way and I'll bring my, my card back in. And I still have a piece of this from the, from the ribbon. <clears throat> but that is my card. And then um, I do have one other thing quickly that I wanted to show you. Let me put my cap on my glue. Um, so you all know, well, most of you know, my youngest daughter, Faith, is a school teacher, and she's just starting her third year as a teacher, and so she needs a lot of thank you cards, and so I made, I used this set, Everyday Thanks, and just made up a stack of thank you cards featuring this set, this stamp set with the, with the crayon, and then I use the, um, I think it's called Everything Eclectic. It's the big stack of designer paper that we have because I like the notebook idea. This heart is from the Radiating Stitches online exclusive set of dies, which I love, but um, these were fun. Look how cute they all are. 
and all the pencils are going different ways, but I think they're all equally as cute. And then, yes, I did stamp the envelope as well. So these are going out in the mail to her today. Um, she, I, I will say that I know there's some other people on here that are either retired teachers, have worked in schools, or their daughters are teachers. And I will say that teachers are undervalued in our society. I think they are anyway. I sure couldn't do what they do, and I have great respect for them. And so if you have a teacher, um, a daughter, or even if you just you know want to make a, give a gift to one of your favorite teachers, this is a quick, easy card to make. And this set is great because not only does it apply to teachers, but there's um, a whistle for like coaches, um, emergency squads, band-aids, and then a stethoscope, which would be good for nurses, doctors, um, any of those people. But I think we can never thank these people enough. And um, so these are going off to my favorite teacher, Faith, um, in the mail today. So I just wanted to show you those before I sent them off. So that's all I have for today. But come back Thursday and I will show you another card featuring this beautiful bundle, the autumn all about autumn sweet and there's there's a different angle of the card but i hope you like it i hope you're getting excited for fall i sure am but we don't want to say goodbye to summer quite yet right um but thank you all for watching today and i look forward to seeing you on thursday this week um and until then i hope you have time to be creative today thanks so much everyone take care bye bye